Prime ministers of both nations were in attendance in Warsaw, where they renewed pledges of support for Kiev. Sweden's premier, Magdalena Andersson, promised more than $20 million, while asking member nations for much more. Mateusz Morawiecki said Ukraine is receiving only a fraction of the aid that it needs to feed the country. He said Europe will respond to Russian aggression as a united people. The armed forces of Ukraine and all of our heroic defenders bravely and firmly defend our freedom on the battlefield. But how this brutal war will end is decided not only on the battlefield. There is also the economy and finance, humanitarian support, and the ability to ensure normal life uh, on liberated territories and rebuilding what was destroyed by the Russian army. Freedom must demonstrate that it protects and provides the people better than tyranny, which for decades has enjoyed a massive flow of money for oil, gas and other raw material sales. That's how freedom wins. That is why this conference is so important for everyone in Europe.